What's up? <laughs> I want to talk about feelings. There's something about this world that, or this society, that drives people to ignore ignore that they have such things ignore that they have emotions and put those things aside swallow them like do all the unhealthy things right all that shit just gets pent up <sighs> like doing doing that kind of stuff is what leads towards addictions you know having to to leads towards that want to cover up the feeling that those feelings bring up. <laughs> Since we're we're not shown, taught, we're not uh, born with the ability to process our emotions in a healthy way. It it adds up. It adds up and there's also the other thing on top of that, which is the societal norms, right? People are told, don't, like for men, don't show emotion. For women, it's be overly emotional. So it's the two extremes. Um, neither is correct. Not that there is a right way, but there is a more efficient way. There is a way that's actually beneficial, not just to the, the individual, but to everyone. Because if if people were to work on things, work on their emotions, uh, <laughs> work on their emotions uh, in that way, there would be there would be so many things in this world that would be. Perhaps not solved, but definitely improved upon. Uh, a lot of it comes down to emotion. You know, consider this, like people that are, I was this, I was this a while back and I still have my, my flare ups very rarely though, but uh, people that are extremely angry like just easy to anger short fused and all that there's something that's affecting them there's something that's causing that you know and as long as the person doesn't confront whatever it is that's causing that it will lead towards the vomiting of those those previous traumas uh, in their life it, regardless if they're physical, mental, emotional uh, as long as it's not worked on it's going to continue it's going to affect people it's going to affect uh, that person's reality and like directly and indirectly it's going to go on into the rest of their surroundings and affect those around them. Um, until they choose to <coughs> work through that, excuse me, until they choose to work through that. And as soon as, as that does happen, when it, when it switches over, it, you know, example being, uh, the angry person being confronted by somebody who has been working on their shit and the angry the angry fuck uh, spews their shit onto them 
person who's worked on themselves. It's just, it's just like wind, you know, over a, over a smooth surface. Water going around a rock. Um, and then that type of moment goes on to affect others around them too. Um, directly and indirectly like people could be around them people could be witnessing the situation the the flare up from the fucking angry fuck and the calm person and take inspiration from either take inspiration from the person who isn't responding how uh, people would typically respond or would respond uh from that space of not working on themselves, um, or they would look to that person, look to that situation, and think, "The oh, fuck, they're weird." Like, I'm with, I'm with the angry guy. Like this, blah blah blah. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, rah, whatever, you know. <laughs> and uh, it's. It's common for people to to not work on that stuff and to prefer, it's common for people to prefer the having that, having the the flare-ups, having the anger, having the, the manic qualities and such because Instead of, instead of confronting how they're uncomfortable with facing those things and putting in all the, the heavy work into working on that stuff, and uh, bringing down their ego a bit for, you know, for a moment, relatively a moment, um, in uh, <clears throat> in saying, oh, I'm not good at this right now. Like it's not it's not that facing my emotions is stupid. It's that I can't confront that because it is difficult, and I don't want to go through that. And um, I think that's really common. I've I found myself around a lot of people of that nature. And um, oftentimes, I would I would come off as very quiet or stern or something of that sort. But I was processing everything that I was picking up from them. Uh, very perceptive, very receptive individual here. And. You know, I can pick up on people's shit by looking at them through their eyes, looking at their eyes directly. And then, of course, picking up other smaller cues and stuff like that. And um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to that. But yeah, those people have a tendency of, of wanting to... Um, To blow themselves up, blow like ex ex artificially blow themselves up or make themselves look bigger, seem more important. Uh, it's it's that whole thing with uh, if if a person is secure in themselves, that they, they make others feel secure in themselves. They don't they don't go after. Uh, the need to gloat, uh, speak highly of themselves, because it'll just happen. Like if you're if you're doing the work, if you're legitimate, right? If you're real, you don't have to do anything other than continue doing you, continue doing what you do. Um, <clears throat> and. When we don't do that, when we actually do gloat, when we do 
speak highly of ourselves and all that shit. It just reveals our character. Like it, it shows it shows others immediately, it shows others instantly who we are, what we're about, and that we um We could be a danger in a way, because we're a danger to ourselves in those cases. Because when you're in that mindset of needing to <clears throat> prove something to others, and if it's intense enough, if that feeling is big enough, some people will do just about anything. So as soon as, as soon as um, I, I pick up on that in people, I disconnect my energy. Like, um, so going back to the whole thing of being perceptive, like if I recognize that in people, I will, I will like to them. I think that what I come off as is uh, either rude because I don't talk. Um, or stupid because I'm not as mouthy as them, which is a, another example of the whole thing, right? If 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 you're truly secure in yourself, you won't need to gloat. If you're uh, intelligent, you're barely gonna fucking talk, you know. And it's. It's fascinating to me to just be in this world, just be alive, experiencing all of this, experiencing people, and <laughs> having this, <laughs> having this approach of like analyzing things and and uh, looking at stuff in this way, and through that process, be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what's up with them? Like, what's going on? Like, devil got to them? And some words of encouragement to all of you who feel like like things are too difficult. Like you want to you want to actually move forward into this, and you want to achieve um, a lot of great things: calmness and you know, calmness and peace in yourself, uh, happiness in your life, all that kind of stuff. It's fucking doable. It's doable, and if to some it might seem like you're in a in a in your own prison, it might seem like that. It might seem like you can't fucking get out. But just like with any prison, fucking pick away, take a take a metaphorical toothpick or your nail, and just scratch away daily. Scratch away daily at the fucking wall. Imagine your 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 fingernail is more of a fucking stick of dynamite or or a powerful laser. Use use your mind's power, your mind's potential for creation and and uh, and alchemy. You know, bring bring what's in your mind into reality through focus because you can do it we all have the ability and uh, and that that mental prison it, it fades away like eventually you step out and it's you almost won't even be able to remember what the feeling of being in there, that fucking torment um, 
of being within that mental swirling uh, tornado storm <clears throat> tempest that fades away it does and you will you will over time see the power that you have within you and all you'll want to do is just continue to to feed that to Cultivate it. To cultivate it. That it, it's it's uh you'll just want that more and more and you'll be going towards your higher self, your ever higher self every day through that process. Because there's never perfection. There's there's no perfection and <clears throat> Perfection itself is like a stagnant thing. Once you reach perfection, that's it, right? So, something that's helped me is uh, reaching for a higher self, thinking about always being better than my former self, improving on my work, improving on myself. scanning scanning ourselves daily to see uh, to see what it is that we have going on right and and not ignoring those things when we find them because they can they can be jarring we can f find things in ourselves that we're like what the fuck I'm like this I do this type of shit wait this if I were to do this stuff to others I would not be feeling all that good like you know there's a lot of people that I mean, psychopaths right narcissists um, psychopath not being able to have empathy and having to fucking fake fake emotions, fake empathy, and only have connect, that, that, that's going to turn into a rant, who's that, um, but it's, it's so important, if you think that you can't do shit to fix this world, to help heal this world, Fucking look in the mirror. Like, start there. You really can. Everybody can. And the effects are immediate. You 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 face something in yourself, like seriously. You look at yourself and you put in the effort with seriousness, with with fucking conviction. You will shift. I think anybody can. I even think that. Even the fucking... I'm gonna go back into that. Fucking psychopaths. Um, fetal alcohol... Asses. Fetal alcohol syndrome asses. Uh, that's... That's actually... Uh, a thing. Um, psychopaths... Uh, can be born or often do come from uh, mothers who drank in utero so while baby was in baby was in belly they were having their fucking Smirnoffs and uh, jungle juices or whatever the fuck <clears throat> and uh, people end up coming out being ruthless <sighs> 
There's no, it's nothing but emptiness. It's I'm gonna fucking change the 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 topic a little bit or quite a bit, but when that happens, the vessel, the vehicle, if you're empty, if you if you have no emotions, that's kind of an indication of having no soul. Maybe. I've I mean I think about that a lot, but um you're, you're empty, you're, you're not having that ability to do that. You're inviting other things into you. You, you are a hollow shell and things that are sentient, maybe, maybe unseen, you know, consider AI now, consider fucking, uh, what, uh, wireless networks and AI are showing us. It, everything's interconnected. There's, there's, uh, think, think spirits, you know? But yeah, fetal alcohol syndrome, empty bodies, hollow shells, invitation for things to enter. Uh, kind of lost my train of thought. It's just, I got, that's something that I'm working on right there. I got passionate about that stuff and that's another point to make too. The things that we focus so strongly about that we get mad about can be can be good to to like inspire us to do better, right? But it's also giving those things energy. So you gotta strike that balance. And that's that that is what's part of the, the toughness of the process. You can't just uh you can't just say, oh, I recognized it. Done. No. <laughs> no. You, there's, there's a constant, it's, it's a daily fucking practice. You're building a habit. You're building habits. Ingraining them into your being. You're, you're, you're storing them into your DNA. It's, it's becoming you. That's the goal. It, the goal is for all of this to become you and then you become an antenna that receives and transmits that signal and it shifts everything around you it changes everything around you your intention being the program being the the thing that's set put forth and made to cause the, the changes made to cause the shifts um oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah uh i'll say that's this is good i'm uh i'm grateful for having been able to share these thoughts um, I hope that I connected with a lot of you, and um, would love to connect with you uh, over messages, uh, in person, or however, and discuss this stuff, fucking talk about these things. other shit um, but appreciate your time sending all of you a shit ton of love and uh, I hope that you're all enjoying yourselves during these days these uh, that's another talk to have fucking English language how fucking backwards it is It's like the language of a death cult. Days? You dazed? Week? Weekend? During the week? You're weak? Blah, blah, blah. But much love, y'all. Uh, Till the next one. See you soon. <laughs>